Hey, this is Mandu here. Today we're going to learn how to make some sparring sphere using trap code particular and some map expression. For those who are not familiar with particular, it is a plugin by Red Giant that allows you to create a 3D particle system with an after effects. Head over to Red Giant website to find out more about its feature and other products. So, let's get started. In after effects, let's hit command N to create a new composition. I'm going to go full HD, 25 frames per second. Click OK. Hit command Y to create a new solid and click OK. All right, let's go to our effects and preset panel and type in particular. For us to use this effect, we have to drop it onto our a solid layer. And when we, and after putting this effect on, you will see a bunch of a uh, uh, white sphere being emitted from the center. And the effect in the effects control panel, we can go into the emitter tab and then collapse it, and we can change the particle count uh, in this parameter called particles per second. And we can even increase the velocity to maybe 250. All right, uh, and we can change other parameters within each uh, each tab. Uh, but what we're gonna do instead is to click on this design button. What this will do once we click on it is uh, it will create this pop-up window where we can see our particle system. If I were to click and drag in this window over here, I can animate emitter and see its motion and how it's reacting to uh, how the velocity of the emitter is affecting its particles. So that's pretty nifty. Uh, we can change the, uh, all the settings we had in the effects control panel on the right hand side over here. So we can reduce the particle count to maybe 250. We can click on the motion tab and then uh, we can reduce the velocity to maybe uh, just 50. Move velocity from motion to zero or we can just reset it in the top right hand corner and we're gonna do the we can change all the settings over here we can change the size we can increase the size of the particles we can randomize the size of the particles and there's also presets for us with ramps and curve that we can make use of if we were to click on this uh, the pen tool over here we can we can uh, adjust the curves of our ram and we can do the same thing for opacity uh, we can select a ram or a curve that we want and we can even just kind of cut it just by clicking and dragging it and we can smooth it out and randomize it and for colors same thing we can choose a random from gradient and there's a bunch of like color scheme we can choose over here and we can easily uh, change the colors by clicking randomize okay so that's the basics of a particular using this designer uh, window. Uh, today we're gonna make use of a preset and build upon it. So if you go to the left hand side preset, right, you can see, you click on this arrow, you can see a bunch of preset Red Giant has made for us. And if you were to click on one of them, it will immediately uh, apply all the settings, and you can see what it what it does. You know, so this is very nifty to kind of quickly get what you want to make. Uh, for today, we're going to make use of this uh, preset called Simple Dots. So it's very close to what we're making. That's why we're going to use it. Uh, we just need to change uh, its motion. So first of all, it's kind of, uh, there's too much velocity from motion. So we're going to go to the motion tab and then just change this to zero, velocity from motion to zero. And even actually, I just want the velocity to be zero as well. So when I when my emit emitter is animating, it's just gonna follow its trail. Right now, it's a little bit too stiff, so I'm just gonna add five to velocity from motion. Let's play it. So it feels a little bit more alive. As for size, now for size, we want to change it from uh, bigger to smaller as it as it goes uh, over life. Okay, so maybe we can reduce the size to 15. And same goes for the opacity. I want it to fade away as it, uh, as it ages, right? Okay. And then, let's see, we want to just, you know, change up the color so it seems a little bit different. I'm just gonna randomize it and see what, what seems appealing. So, nope. Maybe this one. Nope. Okay, this one. This one seems cool. Okay, so once we have choose a color scheme, let's click apply. All right, nothing's gonna happen yet. Uh, this is so we kind of kind of design uh, the motion 
and uh, the stylization of how the particle look. We're going to write our expression now uh, using some slider controls. So let's go to our effects and preset panel and type in slider and I'm double click on it and I'm going to command D to duplicate it twice. I'm going to rename the first one to radius, radius, and the second one to frequency. And third one will be Z. And in my particular effect, I'm going to option click on the position uh, to write an expression. You can close this now. And now I'm going to insert all the, all the variables, all the slider controls I've created. So the first one will be radius R is equals to, let's pick with our slider control, semicolon. And then we're going to do the same thing for frequency. So frequency is equals to slider control. And finally, we have Z is equals to that Z slider control. Now we're going to create uh, our X variable. So X is equals to radius times math dot sign parenthesis time times frequency semicolon. And I'm going to copy and paste it and change this X to Y and sign to cosine, which is cos. And then after that, I'm going to write an array, which is uh, using square bracket x comma y comma z times time, because we want the z to to uh, move in a con uh, we want this spiral to be a conical one. So basically, it has z that, and uh, to make sure that emitter starts from the center, let's type in plus value. All right, I'm going to click on it. So uh, if I ram preview it. It's just nothing's going to happen because we need to change the our settings of our slider control. So we're going to type in, uh, let's go for 50 and then it's frequency of 150 and let's increase our Z to maybe negative 500 because we want it to go forward. So we can see it's spiraling towards us right now. It's very exciting. Maybe we want to increase the radius to a little bit bigger, 100. Uh, it was looking at a little bit dark and that's because of the sh of the self shadowing effect in particular. So if you would go to go into particular into the designer tab window again, if you go to the shadow lit over here, we can set out. So basically shadow lit is just a particular way of self shadowing, uh, you particle sh self sh shadowing. So instead of setting auto or the shadow lit, let's put it always behind. And you can see our particles brighten up a bit because it's not shadowing at the front, it's shadowing at the back. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're almost done over here. Okay, and now uh, let's duplicate this. So you can mess around with all the radius to make it bigger, or you can mess around with the frequency to get uh, interesting shapes. You can get something like feel of taxis effect like what we did in my previous tutorial uh, but, uh, but for now we're just gonna do 150 to get this spiral spiral all right I'm gonna hit command D to duplicate my uh, particular layer and uh, I'm gonna uh, inverse uh, the spiraling the spirals hit double E and then in my expression I'm just gonna type in negative negative X and negative Y to kind of invert the how the emitter emotion, right? So we can now we would go to custom view one over here. Oh, we need to create a camera. So option command shift C to create a new camera, a two node camera. And if we were to, if we were to, yeah, in custom view one, we can see we can see the motion. Uh, we can better see our helix structure over here. Okay. So you can go custom view two, custom view three, and then uh, maybe we want to change the color of our uh, of our second spiral. So we can drop a uh, hue and saturation over here, and let's just scrub through uh, and get an okay somewhere there. And uh, let's go back to our active camera view. And uh, what we're gonna do now is to just choose a camera angle. So my camera, double click on it, it's a two-node camera. Click OK, press P for position, and 
All right, so the settings I'm going with is about 1,100, 1,515, and then negative 1,900, okay? So let's just say if this is the final look that we want, and let's Command-K and just type in uh, spirals, uh, we're going to put this into another composition and we're gonna just kind of stylize it a little bit more on how it looks so first of all I'm gonna go to layer layer style and I'm gonna do inner shadow and I'm gonna go in into uh, the blending mode and change it to soft light crank up the noise to 25 maybe even more and crank up the size so if we would zoom in over here we can see we get that grainy look uh, so play around with the settings and then after that we're gonna go into it's looking a little bit dark so let's drop another levels and just brighten it up by the way nope. so something like that okay somewhere there and now I'm gonna go into uh, the effect the effects and preset panel and type in posterize time so we're gonna stylize the motion here and we're gonna drop it in and hit uh, type in a frame rate of 12. So if I were to play it back now, and it's gonna take some time. So yeah, we're done at this point. Uh, continue to play around with the parameters in the slider controls or in the designer window and you can always um, mess around with the camera angles just to get uh, more interesting shots. Uh, that's all I have for you. I hope you learned something and see you next time.